Hello again, everyone. It's Touch the Rooch, the horror nerd here at PA HorrorCon. It's the first day of the convention, Saturday. You can hear in the background the celebrity room here is hopping. It's a very busy day. I have the distinct pleasure of standing here from Poltergeist, Poltergeist 2, Mr. Oliver Robbins. Oliver, how are you? I'm doing great, and it's a pleasure to be here with everyone in Pennsylvania. This is my first time to Allentown. And you're having a good time here at the convention so far? How, how could I not? Everyone here is so <laughs> kind and nice, and we all love horror movies, and people who love horror movies are probably pretty good people, and usually are. Well, thank you. We we might be a bit of an odd bunch, but I think we're a cool bunch. I, I'm right? one of them, so I'm kind of prejudiced <laughs> to say that we're not. All right. So, so my first question: I have been. I'm a huge fan of horror. I'm a huge fan of Poltergeist. Been waiting my whole life to ask you this question, and here you are. I'm ready. What is it like to get eaten by a tree? Uh, <laughs> I have nightmares every day of my life. I wake up in cold sweats. I've gone to see, I've had therapy every day as well. To, no, I'm joking. No, I know. It was, doing Poltergeist, it was an amazing experience. Every day on that shoot was like going to summer camp. And Toby was like, Oliver, today we're going to have you eaten by a tree. Tomorrow you're going to eat by, you're going to be, not eaten, you're going to be strangled by a clown doll. And, you know, thinking, actually that tree scene was pretty intense to do. Um, it took two weeks to do. And remember, this is before they had CGI effects. So sure. everything on that film was, uh, was practical. So they had one tree that had the arms. That I had to grab onto and I had to make it look like I was actually being you know taken away by that tree by jumping on top of it then another tree that I had where I was supposed to be eaten another one for the far shot and another one where the leg is like it's pull grabbing me by the leg pulling me up and that took two weeks to do all those sequences and when you see it I don't think it's more than like 45 seconds long yeah yeah so as a as a child actor was that was filming all of that fun or was was that just like grueling? I was beat, or a both? Well, they beat me every day on set. Wow. To a pulp. And they put me in a little cage sometimes. And that's the only way I'd act, because I said I don't want to be in the movie, but they said, Oliver, unless you're going to go back in the cage. No, I'm joking. No, I'm kidding. No, I, for me, I just loved it, and that was the best experience I could possibly ever have, though, too. I was really spoiled in that movie. And I think, you know, the really trick working with child actors is make it like a game, make it fun for them, too. Mm. And that's exactly what they did. And they made me feel so comfortable that I could just emote. Because I was a really sensitive little kid. And, you know, Toby made me feel like I could try anything. And there'd be nothing wrong with trying that, too. And made me feel like I could be very natural. So it, mm. was, just a, it was just such a great experience acting in that movie for me. That is very, very cool to hear that. Now, speaking of therapy, you mentioned the clown. The tree didn't bother me, but even now, like the clown, no, 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 no. Uh, especially like under the bed. No. no. I, I can't sleep now with any, like my arm hanging off the bed because of that. So yeah, thank you. I, I did my best. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I traumatized people, and I hope I can continue to do that for multiple generations, too. And I know my job has been done um, in terms of, you know, trauma for children of the future, you know? So I feel good, really good about that. Yeah, well, well, well done. I'm 53 now, and I'm still messed up because of it, so way to go. I had, you know, the, I was always afraid of clown dolls to begin with, too, because that's funny. When they, when I auditioned for the movie, they said, Oliver, and we didn't know anything about the story. They said, Oliver, what are you scared of? And I said, I actually mentioned all the things that I guess all kids are scared of. I bet this tree outside, I'm afraid of clown dolls, and they said, oh, that's like, they're probably thinking, that's like our character, you know? Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I look, Poltergeist for me is one of those movies that still holds up after all this time. You know, I still find it very scary. Um, now, it, it came out so long ago. Does it ever surprise you now that fans such as myself come out to these conventions to still to talk to you and get your autograph and still so into the movie? No, not at all, because I think these movies tap into a certain, I, you know, iconic time in, of pop culture. I really believe that we benefited from the golden age of pop culture mm. in the 80s. And I think we want to go back to that period. And these movies are really part of it, part of our lives. And the storytelling was so amazing. And we we're so creative. I don't know why things are different today. Today we have Marvel movies and you know Harry Potter, which is fantastic. But they're not these creative original stories. And that's why mm. we keep remaking like movies like Poltergeist. Mm. Fair enough. 
Speaking of the remake, uh, now, as a hardcore horror fan, I'm not as militant about remakes as a lot of people are. Like, like any film, it'll either yeah. be good or it won't, you know? Do you have any feelings about the remake, you, you know, know, that you want to share? You know, as a filmmaker, this is why it's so hard to make any kind of movie. So I have compassion for all movie makers, no matter what you're doing. And I think, you know, in terms of remakes, I think we sh you should, film is always about reinventing itself. If you're going to do a remake, don't do it shot for shot because that already exists. That movie's out there and people loved it. You should reinvent it for a new audience. So take the concept and tell it in a different new kind of way using your voice as a filmmaker. And then I think that's where a remake is really valid and, and credible and something that we should all try to do. You know, because you're you're latching on to a concept that everyone knows, but that's where it should really stop. You should tell a new kind of story based on that concept. Mm. That is a great answer to that question. I, I love asking people about remakes. That I think is a very that's one of the best answers I've heard. Oh, thank about you. About that question, oh, people either you. love people usually hate remakes. They're like you know, but and I, I think you hate it because people feel like they're being cheated. Like mm. I've already seen this movie. You know, like you don't want to see a remake of Jaws. Because Jaws is such a brilliant, amazing movie, it's not necessary. Do another movie about sharks or something like that, because there's a million stories you could tell about sure. sharks, I'm sure. You know? sure. Cool. Very cool. So, Oliver, one last question. What are you up to these days? Like, what, uh, I'm a what kind of trouble you get yourself into? Oh, a lot of trouble. No, I'm, and I'm a filmmaker myself, too. Cool. And I've written, like, Hallmark Channel things, but I'm getting back into horror. If I can promote my latest film, Celebrity Crush. By all means. Watch Celebrity Crush. No, I made a movie called Celebrity Crush, and it's kind of a meta kind of movie. It plays on 80s kind of horror in a way, kind of black comedy. And it's on Amazon Prime. It's free right now there, so you can watch that. And um, I was just in a movie called Right Shirt Killer. I actually acted in it the first time in many years, too. And that's also on Amazon Prime. So that's what I've been up to. Very, very cool. Oliver, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time. My pleasure. I truly appreciate it. I wish you success with thank those you films and your future work. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend here. Oh, thank you very much. Right. It's great being here. Great. Oliver Robbins, everybody, here at PA HorrorCon. I am Todd Starooch, the Horror Nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.